You knew this morning a woman accused of breaking into an apartment and then setting it on fire will head to court later today. Greensboro police arrested 21 year old Aline Smith yesterday afternoon. Investigators say that Smith had a shotgun when officers got to the complex. Because of the damage from that fire, 25 people who lived at the Legacy Crossing Apartments are now in temporary housing. Smith is facing multiple charges this morning, including arson and possession of a weapon of mass destruction. Thankfully, no one was hurt. The 19 year old accused of plotting to shoot up High Point University is undergoing a mental health evaluation. A judge ordered Paul Steber to be involuntarily committed to Central Regional Hospital there in Butner. He was transferred just last week. Officers found a pistol and a shotgun in his dorm room on August 27th. He is due back in court next month. The accused UNC Charlotte Gunman is expected to plead guilty today. That plea is part of a proposed deal that would spare his life. Without that deal, the suspect could easily face the death penalty. It's been five months since two students there were killed and four more were injured when the gunman opened fire inside a classroom. The suspect was indicted back in May on two counts of first degree murder and several other charges. We are following up this morning on two recent instances of deadly domestic violence. Greensboro police say a mother of four was shot and killed earlier this month by her estranged husband in a credit union parking lot. And in Burlington, a husband and wife recently separated were found shot to death along with another man who was reportedly dating that woman involved. And we wanted to know what victims can do to survive any possible domestic violence situation. Meredith Hooks manages the Safe of On 7 program and she says the two weeks after a victim takes back control is the most dangerous time. She suggests that they file for an emergency restraining order and contact police or call a crisis hotline if they are in immediate danger. Domestic violence shelters are also a life-saving resource. A shelter can be a lifesaver um, because it's a space where they can uh, be physically safe but also access help where there was none available. If you or anyone you know needs the National Domestic Violence Hotline this morning, that number is there on your screen, 1-800-799-7233. We've got more information right now at WXI12.com as well.